Hello and welcome to this expert blog on creating geodetic buffers. Distance measurements like the buffer tool are easily miscalculated when working with projected coordinate reference systems. The projection introduces distortion which inhibits the accuracy of measurement. To create buffers that honour the coordinate system's datum, we need to ensure the data we are working with is in a geographic coordinate system, i.e. it is not projected. To save confusion, it is recommended to have the data frame in the same coordinate system. In this example, we shall take a subset of features and apply a 10 km buffer to them. Selecting by attribute, I have selected those features that represent platforms. Be careful when exporting data to ensure you select the correct coordinate system to inherit, the data frame or the layer's source data. Removing the symbology class for platforms off the original layer ensures no confusion when working in this session. Remembering that our data frame and the data is in a geographic coordinate system, a system whose measurements are in angles, we specify a linear unit, e.g. kilometres, metres and feet, within the tool to create a geodetic buffer. The resulting buffers are geodesic and stored in a geographic coordinate reference system. When this data is projected in ArcMap to another projection system, accurate buffers are produced. This process can also be applied to lines and polygons.